Hi. Hello. I know you usually see people in your uh, studio or whatever uh, it's called, but um, mm -hmm. I thought I'd better <clears throat> come and see you because I've got a thing about enclosed spaces. It's okay, it's nice to get out for once, out and about. Mm. I had a terrible time in the studios. Studios, used to work in these studios, you know, back in the 80s. Sorry, I can't hear you. There's a thing, there's a, there's a plane, plane going on. A plane Don't worry going about on. the plane. Okay. Look at the plane. I've got problems. Well, I'm here seeing you anyway. I, I, I'd rather the cars and everything mm. than um, mm. everything. Anyway. Um, oh, sorry, boss. Oh, you're going to move. Wind, yeah. yeah. Do you remember me from children's television on the BBC? Rah. Uh, should I? Rah. Rah. When was this? Rah. About 1984. Oh. 88. Really? That was my heyday. Rah. Wow. You were on the television. I've got the shirt, I'm making an appearance, you say. That's amazing. Oh, that's very bright. No? Um, no? Does that ring any bells? It doesn't ring any bells, no. You ever what heard of Mr. It? Doggy? Mr. Doggy. Mr. Mr. Doggy. Mr. Do woof, woof. On the BBC. Of Mr. Doggy. Is that on, what you said? On BBC. Mr. Doggy. You don't remember me. I do actually. That's why I was saying Mr. Doggy, Mr. Doggy. I suddenly it came to me all of a sudden, Mr. Doggy. That's not you, is it? Yes, it is me. This is Mr. Got, Doggy. Got the shirt on. Jesus. But, but, but you don't look like him. Well, that's because I'm like in my fifties now. As a young man, I just yes. come out of Rada. Three years in Rada. The future ahead of me. I thought it's time to be Hollywood. I was going to be the new Robert De Niro. Oh wow! I ended up the new Rin Tin Tin. Yeah. You were Doggy an actual colours. dog? You played a dog? No, I didn't play a dog. Is that why I don't recognise you? You were the dog? I had the TV series in each week and I was like the dog man. Oh, you were the man! I was the man with the dog. Oh. And I used oh. to do the dog impressions. You'd do chihuahuas, shih tzus. Oh, I remember. They the replaced you, didn't they? Because something had, something happened, didn't it? What, what was that? I'm getting the shirt off. Do you think we could get back to that later on? Oh, um, sorry. My time. Reminded me about what happened. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean yeah. to bring up any a bit triggering of a subject about what triggering happened. information. Anyway, yes, they want me back on um, one of these internet shows, the, oh. the Mr. Doggy well Show. Well done. So they've got me out of mothballs, as it were. Mm. <clears throat> and anyway, I find this quite stressful. So I wanted to talk to somebody about the whole. Mm. I've never really gone into what happened, you know. Mm. And when you say they replaced me, it's a bit embarrassing. We got to the Labrador mm. episode. We do La L is for Labrador. And I, I always do the dog impressions. Yes. Shakespearean, classically trained actor. Oh, okay? Yeah. You wouldn't believe who was in my year. I, <clears throat> Am I supposed to guess? There's a little terrier there, look. Is it Ian McKellen? No, look, there's a terrier. Get the terrier. Oh, look at him. Is that the sort of dog you used to work with? Yes, not possibly the same dog. You could have told if it was, it would have bit me. They always did, sooner or later. It was a joke on the part of the camera crew. They'd sight, incite the dogs to harm. But yeah, um, you have to get low on the ground to do mm. terriers. Very low, pause. You'd find yourself with your hands and knees doing character studies oh, yeah, of a dog. Oh yeah, you used to pretend to be a dog, didn't you? Every single It's coming week. back to me now, I remember it. Yes, it was quite a while ago. Um, I was talking to my ex-agent the mm. other week, uh, which makes a change from shouting at him, and he was saying, yes, that you were very good at your character study of animals. They had me on um, the West End, Actually, in Drury Lane, mm. in a major musical about 1990, mm. and they had me playing. Um, well, I was playing a dog, basically, and then after that, um, about 1992, transferred. To, I went to Broadway. The show didn't transfer. I say transferred. It was a different version of the show, a more Americanized version. And, and of course, I thought, this is it. And Hollywood beckons. I'll be going to America. I went to America. With it. Got an apartment in Manhattan, it's very exciting, the show with other members of the cast and um, I played another dog and I did that for two years and um, I remember all these little American kids wanting to meet Mr. Doggy from England and I'm like, yeah kids, 
and then every single night at the stage door, and particularly the matinees, of course. You actually played a dog? Look, it's Mr. Doggy, all right? What else am I yeah, going to do? You were the man. You weren't the dog. You've just said I that. I did the dog. You did the dog. Oh, my. Hey, kid. Oh. Yes. I think I remember it. You. Get that was ten years of my life to that part. Mm. I could have been Malvolio. Trust, bro. You could still be them. You're old. Uh, sorry. Somebody you... said it could have been Juliet. Well, all right, I got it wrong. It could have been the young man in Shakespeare. But I always fancy myself as the old, mature you're, king. Yes. You're not past it, really. I mean, I know that I shouldn't get involved here, but you're really not. You possibly can't play Hamlet or Romeo. <laughs> oh, thank you very not. much. But really, Malvolio and Prospero, they're well within your... Well, they are now. Remit. I haven't acted for 20 years. Oh, haven't you? Oh, no. What happened? A wife and three kids. Did they stop you acting? to pay for them. The wife said, I love it. I love you. Let's do it doggy style. She thought she, well, <clears throat> she had a wealthy family, so we got married. But I well, married her for love. I didn't marry her for money. And I thought, well, we got married and we have to work. By then, things were getting a bit strange uh, for me. With yeah, 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 yeah. I can see how it would have done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. the whole career was, was getting dog tired of wharfing along, not arf. It was canining me, tail impression. That's the tail. You remember I used to do the tail thing with my right, no. with my wrist. Okay, you know, right, no. Anyway, so I thought I'll just have a break. I'll get yeah. married. Maybe we'll have kids. Anyway, we've got three kids and I worked in my father-in-law's business, mm. which sold uh, double glazing. Oh. Um, and um, this is in America for another, well, it was only meant to be a year, then we go back to Britain, so we, we did go back to Britain. And his branch there, which, which we expanded into mm. substantial or double, triple, quadruple glazing, we did an awful lot of institutions, as well as private premises, but it was always big stuff, big stuff. So you found yourself constantly meeting the kind of people who got the part I wanted, and everybody who realized who was hiding beneath the cap and the glasses, oh! <laughs> did you have many people spot you in America then? No, this is when I go back to England. Oh, sorry, yes. Hey, it's Mr. Doggy. What are you doing selling double glazing? Well, I'm just having a break from being Mr. Doggy. <laughs> anyway. Did you sell on. much double glazing? Yeah, we did quite, quite well, actually. Oh. Yeah. But, um, after the company went bankrupt in 1998, mm. Um, I, I never had got back to acting um, because I was um, by then having a bit of difficulty with enclosed spaces. So, and also nobody knew who I was, and if they did know who I was, they went. <laughs> so you could imagine. And then finally, um, I, um, yeah, um, well, yeah. Um, so why have you come to yeah. see me? Well, because somebody, this agent, ex-agent got onto me and this whole thing with this internet TV show. Oh, yes. And, um, and, and, but why and have you come I, to see I me? Felt my, well, because I, I found myself on the bathroom floor two days ago. Oh, no. Crying. Oh, um, I'm sorry. The kids are kind of relatively grown by now, so mm. it's time to pull myself together. <sighs> the wife's gone. Oh. That was quite a few years ago. Mm. Do you remember um, Sheba? Sheba. They had her on the other channels. Mom. Oh, Cat Lady! Oh, yeah! I used to watch that. That was good. Yeah. That's what everybody says. Uh, the Cat Lady, Sheba. Anyway, she helped my wife realise her true sexuality and identity. Oh, dear. So they're living together in Portsmouth. And Sheba has quite a flourishing career. You know, the Sheba products, cat lady shows are still, you know, there's an animated version. There was the spin-offs, they were translated into 15 different languages. Um, there's a range of cat food she endorses. Have they not repeated your show? Well, no. 
Oh. Um, but I'm going to be doing this internet thing. See, that's good. That's good. Will Which, they pay you? Yes. They're going to pay. Oh, that's good. It's, a, it's, um, it's kind of yes. Yes. Um, what are you doing, if you don't mind it's me asking? It's deeply ironic yeah. thing in which I kind of appear every now and again being Mr. Doggy. It's not porn, is it? No, it's not porn. It's appalling. It's the oh dear. It sounds like porn, but there's more lessons. Well, put it this way. You're doing a lot better than a lot of people from the 70s and 80s. Really? You're, you're free. You've got a career coming. Coming? A blooming career? You've got everything to look forward to. Uh, and that thing that happened, the reason you got sacked, it's not going to come back to haunt you, is it, really? Everything's good. It's in the past. That dog and I were just good friends. My yes. wife knew it was all rubbish. The kids had a terrible time at school. Okay. I'm sure everyone's forgotten about it by now. Hmm. Right. I'd completely forgotten about it. I think it. they put me on the bloody internet because of that incident. Oh. I think they think it's funny. We do, we do, you know, mm. they're calling it doggy style time. Oh dear. Yeah. So are you going to take it? Well, I need the money. Yeah. Maybe it will resurrect my career and then somebody consider me for the RSC, the National. And perhaps I might start making these independent yes, films. Yes, positive. Channel 4, BBC. Yes. And, you know, the kind of things that you get in this country and then maybe one day... Hollywood, you know, the guest star. And you don't some, want to dream too big, maybe. Some TV maybe, show. maybe manage your dreams, possibly. Playing a dog impersonator. Yeah. Or perhaps animated television series. The thing is, the more realistic your goal, the more yeah. likely you are to be happy because you've reached the goal. Do you really want to be frustrated? You've, you've got this new job. It's all going to be positive. I have to cock my leg on somebody's. I have to do a simulated urination. You don't have to do that. Do you know how many simulated urinations they used to no. send in letters to ask for? The no. They were inundated I don't want to know. Half of those people were grown yeah. up. Please, we, on the female presenters. Oh, name. dear. That poor woman. Her name was Cecilia. Oh, dear. She had a terrible time. She sure. Didn't get her thighs. Shin. Shin, sorry. I couldn't name that high. Shin. Soggy shins, we used to call them. Oops. Sogs. Sogs. Cecilia Sogs. On account of the need to, to you know. Oh, go on. Pee on your presenter, friend. Pink on the presenter, woof, 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 woof. That was the song. We got it to number 37 on the B side of some bloody stupid thing. It was aimed at us, it was aimed at me in that suit. I had, I had one of those squeegee bottles up my, my legs. No. And you, and you stick this and you, you sort of squeeze it. They had a way of squeeze No, it. you didn't actually do that, did and the you? water would fly out. No, you didn't do that. I don't remember this. Was this behind the scenes? They would have taken you off in a second if you'd done well, that. Well, they had to bow to popular pressure, so they rigged it up and I actually did it one time. <gasps> it was the Christmas special. <gasps> Surely this isn't air. Uh... I'm having flashbacks. <sighs> I should breathe, right? Breathe. breathe. Yeah. <sighs> so what are you going to do? Shush, calm, calm. I got drunk on set. Calm. I got drunk on set. Things happen. <sighs> don't, shh, don't think about it. <laughs> I always say to all my clients, repression. Repression is the best way to deal with things. Repression. Repress it, please. It, it, is, it is a bit of a revolutionary technique, but repressing it is always helpful. Just, it's in the past. Keep it in the past. Look to the future. It'll, it'll all be amazing. Well, I mean, if you think so. Oh, <gasps> wind, I'm sorry. You should oh, probably get up. some sort of worm tablets or something. I'm... No, you... Jesus, I thought you'd ever say things like that to me. Oh, sorry. Pop you me got... down! Yeah, uh... Not seeing you again. Okay.